Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Welcome back. We got a PBZ on our hands once again, this time on Whirlwind. Last game was pretty straightforward. Neo Planet S game. Mana going for the gateway aggression. The Phoenix play. Absolutely perfect. Taking out two queens for free. Then following up with the eight. Zealot harassment onto the third. Taking the third hatchery out. Goodbye, third hatchery. When Zerg is on two bases, and Apartus is on two bases, and Apartus has two immortals and two colossus, there's nothing you can make that will stop it. That's just the way it works. Um, there might be exceptions, but... Someone needs to fix their... Someone needs to fix their, uh, their, their brakes outside. Um, but can Sonder make a comeback happen? Now, this is a bit unfortunate for Sonder because Mana is going to be scouting uh, close positions first. Sending this probe into his opponent's natural, into his opponent's main, going to see the creep and he's going to be happy because on a Whirlwind, it's a four spawn map. So if the Zerg player, you know, if the probe doesn't scout the Zerg first, the Zerg can get away with the 15 hatch. However, because Mana scouted the Zerg first on Whirlwind, he's not going to get away with the 15 hatch, which every Zerg wants typically. Um, instead, gonna place down the 14 pool. Probe trying to be annoying, taking some zaps at one of the one of the drones there. And at one point, you turn around and attack. At what point do you do you refuse to accept the taunting any longer, and you decide, you know what, Probe, you are going to die. Looks like not today. That drone's gonna try to make a hatchery. And again, this is the problem that arises when the Protoss scouts you first. Oh, not gonna happen, drone. Oh my god, I'm gonna get some shields back. Oh, the whiff and the shields are back. Oh gosh. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I was, I almost found myself, yeah, that was, yeah. Mana doing a great job with the probe. Taking a gas. That's really strange. Why are you taking the gas? So, here's why this is strange. Here's why this is strange. So, Sondra's scouting a Nexus opening here. And not a gateway opening. Typically when you scout a Nexus opening, you immediately take your third hatchery somewhere. Like right now he has the money to put his third over here. But he's getting speed, or he's getting, uh, he's getting gas. So it's like, you know, your Protoss is saying, hey, well, you know, you can, I'm doing a Nexus first. Why don't you go ahead and take your third and we'll, we'll push this into the mid game. And we'll just go Econ. And this is the Zerg saying, you know what, I, I don't, no, no, I, I don't want that. So, so Sonder, let me, let me pull up these name tags here. So Sonder placing, uh, placing the gas in his main base here. And let's see how much he mines. He's going to stop at 100. He needs to pull out now. No, he's, he's keeping going. So let's see if he gets speed. Yeah, he's going to get speed. Continue to mine gas. Now there's a couple of things this could be. Um, one thing is, is the two based, uh, very fast fling ultra style. You're gonna keep your guys in gas and, and start accumulating that very slowly. Uh, you, you get your double evolution chambers at about, uh, let's see here. Probably about a minute or so. You want your double evolution chambers once you start really accumulating that gas. And then you start the 1 1 melee carapace. And that's the two base, you, you stay on two base, you know, for a very, it's basically an ultralisk rush on two base, right? Um, so we're not there yet. We're still another about. 30 seconds away from the Eber Chambers potentially going down. So we'll keep an eye on that. Gas at the third. Or ga gas at the natural here. Still no drone going out for gas. And speed is about to finish. So I'd say about... We're getting closer. We're within 15 seconds of double evolution chamber, if that's what it's going to be. There it is. Okay, so it is going to be the double evolution chamber. Um, cool. Very cool. Okay. Meanwhile, Protoss, what is he up to? Oh, hold on. He's going to try to scout here. Wow, if he scouts the Eva Chambers. He scouted the Evo Chambers. That's a great scout. Okay, so one one's going to get started. And what's going to happen here is... He's going to start his layer as fast as possible. Next under gas, can be on layer. Next under gas, next layer. That's, that's the only thing, in, that's what's happening. Um, and then, some players start deviating from that point, after the glare. There it is. 
It's a little late. 50 gas late. Um, some players will start deviating here. Infestation Pit, obviously. Right when the layer finishes, Infestation Pit, you're gonna get 2-2 two, two on these Zebra Chambers. You get your third, right after the layer. I mean, the third's going down right now. Um, we got a Militia Corp being right here. I think he's trying to do stuff. Now, the, the goal here is gonna be, you, you wanna deny your opponent's third. That's that's what has to happen for the Zerg. Um, now, what are we seeing from the Protoss? I haven't really looked at that too much. Okay, so he has five gateways. He's adding, he's adding on a bunch of gateways. So, what's gonna happen here? Mana is going to warp in nothing but zealots because what's really good about what's really bad again or what's really bad about this opening from Zerg is that it doesn't involve well what's really I don't want to phrase this Axel Toss why can't you phrase words you're a commentator Jesus <sighs> okay um, nothing but zealots because zealots are good against what they're good against slings what does Zerg not have when they're doing this Roach one, right they're not going to have roaches because that it's not efficient right it's not continuing with their build it's not friendly it's not optimal. Now, Sonder needs to find these pylons. If Mana gets a bunch of Zealots here, he's, he's dead, you know. Oh, what? He's getting a Hydrogen. How strange. A Hydrogen is like, that might be the perfect response to seeing. So he might know exactly what's going on. So it's interesting because the Hydrogen, because when you go Hydras, you're going to want the plus one missing, right? It just doesn't make any sense to get the plus one melee if you're going Hydras. Uh, also delaying his infestation. So I think he knows this is coming. But can he get the Hydras out in time? I... This third might be dead, man. It might be dead. In fact, it is. Oh, man. I really wanted to see if this would work for Sonder. Because I really like the Hydra. Like, I think that's actually pretty cool. You just make, like, eight Hydras and, and make a bunch of links. Does that deal with these Zealots and Sentries? I think it might. But now it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's one of those situations where it's, this third is dead. Now, hold on a second. Mana's still coming forward. It's important to note... This thing can re still recall. This this thing is called a Mother's Core recall. But there's Hydras in the way. If the Hydras can target the Mother's Core and prevent it from retreating, that might be good. He thought about it. Mother's Core backing up, throwing down the Time Warp. Sport Crawl is trying to get the damage done, but no, the Sport Crawl, uh, the Mother's Core will get away. Hydras trying to tuck back and get the damage done. The Zone's doing a great job. They need some more links here to help uh, tank for the, uh, or at least pull some, pull some drones. Yeah, the drones gonna start coming forward. Mother Shakur is, is gonna get targeted now, but there's GG. Too too little too late. You know. That was. Oh, I really wanted to see if that would work. So he needed to find this pylon. Like, that's so important. Zerg players, you gotta send your overlords in this direction. Like, maybe find somewhere to put them. Like, maybe even put an overlord here. Like, that's gonna be worth it. Or even like. An Overlord right here would see that, I think. An Overlord right here, you can see a probe coming in. An Overlord right here. Unless they come in from this way, but then that's coming in from this direction, which you surely have control over. But yeah, you gotta scout these pylons. Gotta scout the pylons. So yeah, that was fun. Good series. 2-0 for mana.